Welcome back to my channel. It's Roby One, and we're over here in Duxbury and Humrock Beach in Massachusetts. And as we go into part three of the coincidental coastlines, right here, you look at the alien sipping water. Right here, we can bring it bigger. And this is where I explained I rode my bike all the way here and was going to swim across to the left eye. Here's the goat. Alright, so let's bring it back. And now as we go on to Duxbury, right here is Duxbury Bay. And when I spoke to the historical lady at the Historical Society, this is the coastline I was specifically talking about right here. But as you look, it almost looks like Hellboy. <laughs> Just saying. Horn. Possible other horn. Nose action. Goatee. Kingston Bay. This looks like it could be one of the arms of the creature. So this is kind of implying that this god, or what they would say mythical god in scholastic schools, but I never go by that. I go by my own eyesight. It looks like it's humping some kind of snake-headed creature. And as I did a little more homework, Here's one of the snake-headed creature gravestones right here. As we look at the Medusa-like gravestone. This is just why I call it coincidental coastlines because it's a coincidence that there's snake-headed gravestones. Not that this looks like a female here, but there's a snake-headed creature. That's obviously an eye. If you look real close right there, this would be the mouth, and this is where the bay is, where I found this rock right here, if you want to look real close, but this is the rock, Oop. let me get the light right for you, if you look at the rock from the Duxbury area, and I'll, I already have a video made where I uh, was over in that area, and you'll see that soon, let's go back to what we were doing now. Bring this back, put this over. I'm just using my iPhone. All right, so this, I just got a few of them and if you've seen my, this is from the oldest maintained graveyard in America, over there in Duxbury, Massachusetts, where Styles, Man, uh, Miles Standish is uh, buried, who sailed the Mayflower. Here's another one with the coiled type hair. The symbology behind this, what does it really know? That almost looks like a ribbon, but it's, you know, the tattery is there. Let's look at the other one. Now this one's a little more decrepit, but you can see part of the face. Right there. And then the hair, and it even almost has like more hair going down, if that's what that's implying. The woman at the historical society says that uh, it was the artist's imagination, but that's what I'm sure you'll see a pattern of too. I also found bricks over there, they're downstairs, right over in this area. I found bricks over in this area over right at the beach line now for this goes all the way down and you follow this up right here which would be the creature's elbow and arm oh, let's bring this back I'm gonna bring it out Bring it back, take this out. So, back to where we were. Yeah, 
you know, if you look at this as a creature hump, you know, this, you want, you want to go into this. The five mischief makers of Satan. You got Lilith, Leviathan, Baphomet, Baal, and Pan. Could that be Pan humping some alien creature? And that's one of the arms. Obviously, it looks like this thing's enjoying it. But right where the elbow goes up is right where the, the insertion would be, so to speak. And if you look right where that is, oh, I did it again. I hate when it goes angle off. It looks like a snake. Just a coincidence in that. All right. So there's that, Duxbury Bay. Let's bring it the other way now. If you bring it this way, it looks like the snake-headed creature is riding some kind of winged creature. You see it? There's the old pencil. Now, if you look here, you've got the head, the mouth, the eye. There's no way this is made by those plates that shifted by the Duxbury Historical Society said, a geologist said, that's got to be man-made. And the day I went, I was going to ride my bike across this, but it was like 45, 50 and kind of windy. And it was, you know, the chances were probably 84% getting across. So in physics, you go by the numbers and I'm not even any type of physics major or any of that crap i'm just spitballing but it looks like it's riding some kind of wing bat and right here this line to me would somehow create that wing it's almost as if they started creating something and never finishing it if you want to go into the fallen ones in the ancient mystery teachings as we go deeper into this and as we go into Cape Cod Bay, and all right, let's bring it how on the map would look as you'd look um, at America. All right, so here's, here's America. All right, we're zooming in exactly where I am. All right, so we're going to flip, flip ski on this. Flip mode's the greatest, like Buster Rhyme says. Remember, I'm the rhyme master. What's that? What's that, people? What's that? That's like some sea hag type. They're, they're going into sea hag type things. I looked it up. It just said it's mythical, but it's a tale that does derive from Massachusetts. But look at this. Eyes. Head. Neck. I believe the Indians knew this. And there's a map I got, and I'm going to do a whole video just on the map. Now here we got, we got the Leviathan. So there's one of the mischief makers. And over here, now let's go back where we were. This could easily be Pan. Humping the freaking snake-headed creature. We got an alien. And this could be Baphomet. Now these areas, these gods come from Lebanon, if you know anything about the fallen angels, angels in Solomon's temple and how he fell to the dark side, so to speak. The Masons revere Pan and they say he never died because the knowledge he left behind. But let's look at the map quick. Stuff out of the way. This is the map, but I'm just gonna go into it a little quick. And as we look at get the rock out of the way, get this in here. Now let's go to Hum Rock. Alright, so we got Hum Rock, and let's get it big so it looks so you can see the map. Alright, so I imagine this is what they're trying to show us. They're trying to show us see this part going right here. All right, let's look at the map. What's that saying? Can we make out what that says? Or is it too blurry? All 
it looks like the map is the same as if we're looking at it. Alright, so let's t tinker it in the same exact position and see what that says. to see. I'll try to look and see what it says. But my phone won't read it because it's just too bright. But it's saying north is going this way right here. And that's what it looks like this could be saying too. It's too blurry. This looks like west for some reason. But nevertheless in the map if you notice this piece is cut right out. And that would be right here, I would imagine, right? That's this part cut off, and they're almost pretty much showing you this. That looks like this right here. But this right here is not drawn in. I'm just analyzing the map, and now if you go down to the arm, it all looks very similar. Let's get closer to it it's almost showing the map All right, yeah this would be this going up and down and then but right here there's three little bumps that I imagine right here would be right here right here now there's only one bump interesting all right so go up. it doesn't show us that much this is just a brief showing of this map and how i believe this is this map is a cover-up of this alien now this this is the map it comes from and it shows that piece there see it let me get in on it. Let me get in on it. Right there, see it? Triple elbow. But now right here, see there's the snake I show in the other video. And this part's all different. They make it look all different. And if you look right there, I'm going to end it with this. The part where the goat's head is, which is over here. And let's go right to it as we show it. All right, well, right here, there's the goat. Let's get them close to each other. That's where that, see the snake head right there? See the snake head? There's the snake head, so let's look on here. There's the snake head, but you see how this is the goat? Now look at on this map, let's look close. Right there. Let's get real close and let it, all right, now, there's a snake head, look right there. That looks like something else is drawn in there, or a dog or dragon head and try to take away from the element of the goat. And this almost looks like a dragon head with the ears there, and this is the mouth line and the nose. Nevertheless, this thing is definitely fishy. Roll we one to the next video. I'm out.